volunteer veterinarian here at Big Cat Rescue. Behind me is Tonga, a white serval. A few months ago, one of our volunteer keepers noticed that he had a broken canine tooth. We were able to get a better look at the tooth at feeding time when Tonga was in his lockout area. One of his lower canine teeth looked broken and had started to become discolored, so we decided to sedate him and take him to the veterinary clinic where we could assess it and treat it. So, how do you sedate a serval? If he were a domestic cat, we could simply hold him gently and inject him with the medication to sedate him. But Tonga, he won't allow that. Well, servals don't let you do this. It's way too dangerous. They have very long legs, complete with sharp claws. They hiss, they spit, they smack. So what we did was lure him into a squeeze cage. A squeeze cage is about the same size as his lockout. He's used to getting food into his lockout, so he wasn't surprised at all to go into a different cage to get a little bit of food. Once he's inside the squeeze cage, we lower the door and he's safely inside. Now we can move him. So here Tonga is in the squeeze cage, as you see in the video. This allows us to have contact with Tonga without putting ourselves at risk. We're able to lift the bottom of the squeeze cage to put him into a smaller area, and then we can safely inject him with the medications. Once Tonga was anesthetized, we could clearly see that the tooth was indeed broken and the pulp cavity was exposed. The pulp cavity is a little tiny canal in the middle of the tooth that goes down to the root of the tooth. Normally, your enamel is covering the pulp cavity so it stays clean and protected. But if you break off the tip of the tooth, like Tonga did, the pulp cavity is open and bacteria can get in the pulp cavity and lead to a tooth root infection. So in Tonga's case, the best thing to do was remove the damaged tooth. Since canine teeth are so big, it's actually quite a production to remove the tooth. We have to cut the gum tissue and make a flap in order to burr out the tooth. Then we're able to remove the tooth, put the flap back up, and suture it all back together. All this time, Tonga is obviously under anesthesia. He has numbing agent in his jaw, so when he wakes up, he doesn't feel any pain and is as comfortable as possible. Here we are, back at Big Cat Rescue. For a couple weeks, Tonga was on antibiotics, pain medicine, and on a soft food diet. Now, months later, he's doing great. He's back to his regular food. He eats chicken, bones, rats, a special carnivore diet, and he does what he always did, lays by the lake and enjoys his lakeside enclosure here at Big Cat Rescue. You can help us change the way people treat big cats by texting TIGER to 20222.